Hi there, thanks for signing up to the course and it's great to have you here. Um, welcome to this Tinder clone app uh, course. So now in this first lecture, I want to show you what we're going to be building and give you a quick overview of the final app. So we're going to have this Tinder clone app. I'm going to start it right now. And the first screen that we're going to be building is a login screen. Now for this, we're going to be using Firebase authentication service, which is a really, really easy way to uh, achieve uh, sign up and login in your app. So we're going to be building two screens for those functionalities. First one is sign up and where we sign up with a username and password. And the other one is login. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this, exactly how to set it up. So what I'm going to do now is just log in with a test account that I've created. It's mail one at test.com. And one, two, three, four, five, six is the password. So I'm going to log in now. And I'm going to just show you what we have in the app. So this first screen is a profile screen. Okay. We're going to be building this information for the user. And I'm going to show you how to add more information that you wish to add to your user account. And we're going to have an apply button, which sends all this information to the database and a sign out button to sign out of the app. Now, another thing that we're going to have here in the profile is an image, and I'm going to show you how you can actually create this image on the back end using a service called Firebase Storage. OK, that's a very, very easy way to store information on your back end. So you can store one image like we do in the app, but you can store multiple images in a very, very easy way. We're going to be using a library called Glide to track to actually load images into our app. All right. So that's going to be very easy to do. I'm going to show you step by step how we can do that. Now, the next screen we're going to be building. Uh, first off, let's talk about the top navigation here. We're going to have three tabs. One is the user profile, another one for the swipes and another one for the chats, exactly like, like Tinder has. Now, if we move on to the swipe functionality, we will have cards for our users. And I'm going to show you exactly how to build those. It's a very, very easy way to actually have swipe functionality. So we can swipe right, for instance, on a user. We will be building two buttons here that have swipe left and swipe right. We will also be building a user information page. So if you want more information about this particular user, we're going to click here and we're going to have a screen that displays all that information. I've only included two pieces of information here but I'm going to show you how to add more um, and add everything you want. So for instance, a profile uh, info, a bio or whatever you want to add. Now, if we move on to the other screen, this is a list uh, that only contains one element at the moment, but it will contain eventually all the matches that the user has. So imagine the way Tinder works when you have a match with another user, it will show up here. So once we click on that, we have some information, some text um, with that uh, user, so a conversation. And we're going to have actually two, um, two devices working in parallel. And I'm going to show you how to send information back and forth, uh, send messages from one user to another in real time. OK, so what we do is just send messages through here and they will show up here and on the left side for the other user. And we're going to have a link to the user information page as well in this uh, screen. So if we go back, this is the messaging screen. So I'm going to show you all of that, how to build. It's a very easy step by step process. I'm going to take you through the whole thing. So don't worry about a thing, even if you haven't um, done anything like this before. Um, trust me, it's quite uh, straightforward and easy once I show you exactly how to do it. And I'm going to have you um, extend it as well to personalize it for your particular preferences. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining the course. Um, we're going to get started in the next lecture straight away with creating our project from scratch. And I hope you will follow all the lectures. I hope you will implement everything that you see because this, use, this course is about doing and not just watching videos. And I hope you create your perfect dating app. So thank you so much for being here and let's get started building our project.